So um, our crown chakra, but we're really bringing that focus to balancing all of the chakras to the crown and the fact that it is really something that is a constant cycle that we go back to the base and work our way up and we keep going back and it's and it's always something that's there for us to work on and even if we're not focusing on the chakras our yoga practices tend to be all chakra balancing anyway yay for yoga <laughs> so we'll come to a comfortable seat and i was just meditating before this so I'll move that aside <laughs> Um, and as you come to your comfortable seat, this is that first place where you get to focus on all of the chakras, finding the connection at the base, at the root, move the sitting bones and feel, and then find the tilt forward and back of the pelvis, finding that fluidity of motion. Um, and then it's also that area of creativity. And so with that, Maybe add some movement here that you don't typically make with your pelvis through that lower part of your torso. This is an area that dancers tap into or anyone who does creative movement. And then move the awareness up to the solar plexus and draw the low ribs in, starting to engage a little through the core. It doesn't have to be extreme, just a little bit. And then lift up with the heart space, draw shoulder blades onto the back. And now bring your fingertips to the base of your skull and lift. And you can even think of the thumbs right by the ears here, but lift up, create that space. And then think of from the upper palate up through the crown. Keep that length, let your hands release down, let your eyes close. And if you want, you can add the crown chakra mudra in here at connecting fingertips at the solar plexus. Remember, this is the mudra of wholeness or completeness. It encompasses all the chakras, all the energies. Begin to notice your breath moving on the inhale from the crown to the tail on the exhale from the tail to the crown. If you want, you can add that mantra of so hum, inhaling so, exhaling hum. Then connecting palms together at the heart. Draw your thumbs to the third eye and back to heart center and bow towards your heart. And then softly open your eyes, release your hands down. And as you let your eyes start to take in the space around you, let them be soft. Let your shoulder blades move on to your back and gently start to move your head and your neck. You're taking ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. And as you do this, also feel the connection that you have with the ground, rooting down through your sitting bones and maybe finding a little more length and lift through your sides. As your head comes over to the right side, reach your left fingertips out to the left and think of reaching in opposite directions. Move your left shoulder blade onto your back and take a full deep breath here. You can add a little bit of tip up and down with your chin if that feels good. Inhale back up to center. And exhale, left ear to left shoulder, reach your right fingertips out to the right side. And again, reach in opposite directions. Right shoulder blade moves onto your back. And as you take a couple big breaths, again, find that tilt up and down with your chin if it feels good. And always stay more stationary here if you would like to. The beauty of our yoga practice is that with options, we can tune into what we need individually. 
that individual need being met means that we can connect with ourselves and connect with others. Inhale back to center. And now reach your right arm out to the right with your thumb down and then bend your elbow and reach across your back. Left hand takes a hold of your right wrist. You're creating a little chicken wing out to the left side. Shoulder blades engage onto your back and then take left ear to left shoulder. Tilt your chin up and down a couple times. And then right ear to right shoulder. And again, chin up and down a couple times. Inhale back up to center. And now release your arms. Reach your left arm out to the left. Thumb is down. Bend your elbow and reach across your back. And then take a hold of your left, left wrist with your right hand. Create that chicken wing out to the right side. Shoulder blades engage. Now right ear to right shoulder. And a little up and down movement with your chin. And left ear to left shoulder. And up and down movement with your chin. And back into center now, releasing your arms, give your shoulders a little roll back. And a little roll forward. And then switch the cross of your legs, come to that less comfortable cross for yourself, shift your sitting bones. And now arms reach out long to the side, plug in with your shoulder blades, and then wrap left arm over your right to come to hugs or eagle arms, whichever feels the best in your body. Lift elbows up to shoulder height, wherever that is, and plug in with your shoulder blades, draw them onto your back. Take a big, deep breath. We're gonna move with our breath now. Inhale, lift elbows and your heart. Exhale, bow in, tuck your chin in. Inhale, lift up and exhale, bow in. Take two more, full inhale, long, deep exhale, one more big breath. Then inhale back upright, release your arms, give your shoulders a little bit of roll back, movement through your head and your neck. And then reach your arms out long and now right arm over your left to take eagle or hugs, whichever feels the best. Lift elbows up, plug in with shoulder blades. Take a big breath here first. Then inhale, lift up with your ribs, your heart. Exhale, round in, tuck your chin in. Inhale, lift up and exhale, round in. Two more, full inhale. Long, deep exhale. One more big breath. Then inhale back up to center. Release your arms. Give your shoulders a little roll back. And a little roll forward. And now we'll shift forward on the hands and knees. And from hands and knees, feel free to add that cushion of a blanket underneath your knees if you would like. But as you set yourself up, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, root down through the four corners of your palms, rotate elbow pits and push, expanding into the upper back, and then tilt sitting bones up as you, as you expand and open through the heart space. Cow pose, belly is reaching down a little bit, and then add a little bit of movement side to side here with the hips. As you take this, if that amount of back bend is a little bit much for your back, then make it a little bit more gentle and engage the low glutes and low belly to make it supportive on your low back. Now exhale, rounding upward. Again, if that rounding upward is a bit much on your back, then take it a little bit more gently and support it with low belly, low glutes, engaging. And then a little bit of 
sway side to side with the hips here, getting longer from hip to armpit. Then back into center now, reach back with your right leg, toes tucked under on the ground and pulse. Starting to get into the back of the leg a little bit, starting to get into the calves, the hamstrings. Take some big breaths and recognize what this stretch is like for you. Then release your right knee down and stretch back with your left leg, toes tucked under on the ground. And again, pulse. A little forward and back, getting that stretch and release a couple times. Then release your left knee down and inhale, stretch back with your right leg, toes tucked under on the ground and push. So you have a longer stretch through the calf. Then lift up and open through your hip a little bit. Draw your right shoulder a little forward. So it's like you're trying to reach your hip and your armpit away from each other. Take a big deep breath. And then set both knees down. Stretch back with your left leg, toes tucked under, and push. Length through the calf. Lift the hip and then draw the left shoulder forward. Big deep breath. And now back into center here. Big toes together, knees wide, making that space for your belly as you settle your hips back toward your heels. Settle your head down. Take a couple big breaths in your child's pose. And we'll add a little more shoulder opening, turning your palms up, finding that external arm bone rotation. And from here, engage your shoulder blades onto your back and release a few times. And now rising back up to your hands and knees, pause, set yourself up, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, elbow pits rotate, push, toes are tucked, push into the ground, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog pose, and then take a slow pedal here. As you bend one knee and let the other leg get long and straight, feel the back of your leg, notice the length. And then switching to the other side, bend to the other knee, get long through the other leg. And then come back into center here, rise to tiptoes, tilt your sitting bones up, push from lats out through your hands, grow longer. And now walk your way forward, coming into your forward fold at the front of your mat. Take an inhale and lengthen partway. Exhale and fold over your legs. Hands to hips, push back with your hips, start to lift up and open through your shoulders and rise all the way up to stand. Find feet inner hip distance apart and parallel. Turn your palms open and as you close your eyes here, notice from crown to feet as you inhale, feet to crown as you exhale. Inhale, stretch up into that Y. Plug in with shoulder blades. Lift your heart up high. Exhale, hands come through heart center to fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Plant fingertips, you're stepping right foot back into your lunge. Inhale, reach up into that Y with your arms, center with your hips. Settle in, and then as you lift up with your heart, engage through the core, support your back body, take a big breath. Exhale, hands come down to the front of your mat, you're finding your blocks, come to the highest point, and work your front leg towards straight, wrapping your left hip back and pushing big toe mound into the ground. Send your sitting bones up, extend your heart. Full big breath. Inhale, bend into your front knee, set your back knee down. Work your hands to the inside, and you can always use blocks here. Take a big breath as you extend your heart forward, and then work down toward one elbow, maybe two. Big breath in your alligator or lizard. And 
as you push your left big toe mound down, wrap your left hip back and push down with your right knee so your hip lifts a little bit. Now, staying down on your right elbow, and if you're up on your hands, that's okay too, but your left hand is gonna help you take a little bit of a twist. So turn your belly and your heart to the left side here, and then bend your back knee. We're not reaching back for it, but push down with your knee so that your hip lifts. Turn your belly, turn your heart. You might switch your hand to your knee here. Push down with your elbow, put both shoulder blades onto your back. Take a big, deep breath. Exhale, both hands come down to the front of your mat and step all the way back to a downward facing dog pose. Take a deep breath. And now from your down dog, as you rotate elbow pits forward and push, bend your knees, tilt your sitting bones up. Inhale, come, come forward into a plank. You can always use knees down here. But same, keep your elbow pits rotating forward and pushing, extend your heart. Exhale, lower. Inhale, curl up and open. Take a high cobra, low cobra, somewhere in between. Whatever feels the best in your body, take a deep breath. Shoulders are up and back. Exhale, downward facing dog pose, full breath. And then walk your way forward, coming into your forward fold. Take an inhale and lengthen part way. Exhale and fold. And now just a couple of pedals with your legs here to get a little more into the hamstrings. You can set blocks underneath your hands if you want to. We'll take the second side in just a moment. So as you pedal with your knees, bending one knee, then bending the other knee, Think about the movement happening from the hips and the low back, keeping the heels planted. Oftentimes if we're tight through the low back or the hips, then we'll lift from the heel instead, which isn't a bad thing, but it's a different kind of stretch. One more on each side. And then planting fingertips, we're stepping the left foot back into the lunge here and inhale, reach up. And as you reach up, you're coming to that Y shape. This is that receptivity place. And it also helps our shoulders to be able to do their job. So plug in with your shoulder blades, settle in, center with your hips, and then lift up more with your front body, tone low belly, low ribs. Full deep breath. Exhale, hands come down to the front of your mat. Find your blocks, come to the highest point or whatever you're using and work your front leg towards straight. Wrap your right hip back. Your big toe mound starts to get light sometimes when you do that, so push it down. Back knee bends, this helps you to tilt your sitting bones up, extend your heart forward, take a big breath. Inhale, bend into your front knee. Back knee comes to the ground. Work your hands to the inside. And from this place, extend longer through your heart. Work down toward one elbow, maybe two. And then push your right big toe mound down. Wrap your right hip back and push your left knee down. Those three actions help to center the hips and elevate them a little instead of sinking into them. So take a big deep breath. And now keeping the left forearm down, if it's on the ground, and again, if it's not, that's okay. Um, bring your right hand to your block or the floor. That starts to enable you to take this twist. Then bend your left knee and push. This should help you lift your thigh just a little more at the hip. If you'd like, you can take your right hand to your knee and take a little deeper twist. 
Take a full big deep breath here. Push your elbow down. Put both shoulder blades onto your back. Full big breath. Then hands come back down to the ground and this time go ahead and step back to hands and knees. And now you have your choice. I'm gonna take knees narrow here to give a little compression for my belly, but you can take your knees wide instead. So you decide which one feels the best. Settle hips back toward your heels and then maybe take your palms up again here to find that external arm bone rotation. Head releases down to something if that's in your practice. Take a full deep inhale and exhale and bring awareness to that movement of your breath. From crown to tail on the inhale, tail to crown on the exhale. Then inhale, gently bring yourself all the way upright Come down onto sitting bones. And now we're gonna take that wide leg place again that we've done earlier this week. So take wide legs and notice how your low back feels to be able to sit up here. And so if you need to, or if you'd like to, you can set up on a blanket or you can set blankets underneath your legs, okay? So move your sitting bones, move them back and broad. That makes that space, it helps your pelvis to tilt. And then press your heels down so you have a little lift through your knees. Right fingertips to the floor inside your right leg, left hand to your hip. Now push both hands down and lift your sides. Turn your belly and your heart to the left. Put both shoulder blades onto your back. And from here, if you'd like to, you can reach your arm over your ear. If your heart stays open, if you reach your arm and you have to move your torso in order to, to reach your arm over your ear, then maybe keep your hand at your hip. From this place, if it feels good, you can walk your fingertips down the inside of your leg towards your foot, or you can stay somewhere in between. Take a big deep breath. Keep opening through the heart, sending your head back in space. Full inhale, long deep exhale. And now inhale, rise all the way back up. Before we take that second side, we're gonna turn our torso toward our right leg. Fingertips on either side of your leg, lift your ribs, turn from your rib cage, exhale, take as deep a fold as your body is ready for. Maybe you reach across with your left hand to the outside of your foot or your leg. Maybe you stay with your fingers on either side. Exhale, low ribs in, and in particular, think of drawing your right ribs back. Full deep inhale and exhale. Next inhale, rise all the way back up. Left fingertips just inside your knee, right hand to your hip, and start to turn your belly and your heart open to the right. Shoulder blades on your back, maybe stretch, left arm to the sky. <coughs> Excuse me. If opening through your heart, is in your practice and staying there, maybe you walk your hand down the inside of your leg toward your foot. Maybe you come just part way down, maybe you stay more upright, find where you can be the most open through your torso and your spine. It's less important to grab your foot. It's really never the goal. <laughs> Big breath. Inhale all the way back upright and now turn your torso to face your left leg. Fingertips on either side of your thigh, lift your ribs. And now from your low ribs, exhale and twist a little more. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Maybe reach across with your right hand to your foot or your leg. Maybe stay with your hands on either side of your leg. Both toes, both sets of toes are in straight up. Take another big breath and notice the left ribs drawing in to help you twist. Inhale back upright, hands underneath your knees, support yourself to come all the way back in with your legs, footprints to the floor, hands at your knees. Take a couple rounds of cat and cow here, moving through the entire spine from tail to crown. 
Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, press back. Full deep inhale. Long, full exhale. Inhale, sit tall. And now we're going to come all the way down onto our backs. Make sure you can reach everything. And set footprints on the ground. And from this place, elbows by your sides. Inch your shoulder blades in toward each other. And then we're going to take one bridge pose. Push feet down into the ground. And as you inhale and lift your hips up, notice length through the entire spine, all the way through the crown. Notice a reach out through your knees. Rotate inner thighs down a little bit and then engage low glutes and low belly. Then push and lift up a little higher. And shoulder blades further onto your back. Exhale, knees all the or knees, hips all the way down to the ground. Walk feet out wide. Take a couple windshield wipers clearing through the spine and through the nervous system. And then begin to set yourself up into your best resting pose. And that place that serves you the best this morning. Letting yourself settle. Begin to take a deeper breath. Gently add movement into fingers and toes. And as you're ready to bend your knees and roll over to your side. And slowly press yourself back up to your seat. And from your seat, if you'd like to, you can take fingertips to connect in front. Eyes closed to tune back into a full breath. Inhaling from crown to tail. Exhaling from tail to crown. Inhaling so. Exhaling hum. Have a very peaceful, very beautiful day. Namaste. Thanks, everybody.